Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to transfer files with a USB cable on Vita Shell. This method is very simple and clean, and it doesn't take too long on how to learn. Um, I do recommend this is the recommended method I usually use in terms of transferring files, even though on my YouTube, I use FileZilla FTP client for a lot of stuff just due to when I'm streaming my Vita, I can't use the USB cable method. However, I do recommend using the USB cable method over files of the ftp client unless you have you know a really fast internet um connection um overall just transferring via with a usb your usb charging cable with your vita is way much faster in terms of transferring files so it saves you a lot of time of course if you're transferring a lot of games and data from your pc to your vita if you guys also still want to learn on how to um you know set up files of the ftp client and transfer files via ftp from your pc to vita it's still a good way on how how to learn that for your Vita and also for your PSTP so I will have a card for that video right now as showcased in the screen I will also have it in the link in the description if you're still interested on how to transfer files that way but for today's main focus I'm going to be showing you guys on how to transfer via with a USB cable as well please be sure to follow my latest social media so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel any of my videos I usually post will be on Twitter as well so I do recommend that you guys go ahead and follow my Twitter and my goal is to try to drop a video every single day on my channel so the best way on how to know that is basically being subscribed to me of course hitting that notification button and by just checking out my twitter and you know being in tune with that so you never forget any of the latest hacking guides i have for like the vita ps4 ps3 and stuff like that as well if you still want to be in the mix in things and want to join my official community i recently just made a discord not too long ago um you can via join my discord in the link in the description below or as showcased here i have the link right Right now on the screen you can just go ahead and type in that link right there and then you could join my discord not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you could also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite consoles whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 or even the nintendo switch and as well if you want to just you know meet me talk to me on a daily basis or need support for you know your respective consoles i have support channels in my discord to help you guys on how to um set up your vitas or anything in terms of console modding itself if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to via donate by paypal any of the donation money i may receive from my supporters and fans will go straight back into my channel it will help me buy things such as a better microphone um audio equipment anything in terms of software editing tools even a console to showcase um on my channel and to provide you the best content at hand um with all that stuff getting stated out the way as well and anything that i state in terms of the prerequisites for the video will be in the download description below just like any of my other videos you need of course a modded playstation vita or pstv via using the hankaku h core or the trinity hack as well you need a 3.60 to 3.70 firmware vita or pstv to even run those hacks as well so make sure it's not on the latest uh, firmware which is 3.71 or you cannot be running um this process for this video you also need the latest version of vita shell i'll have the uh, vbk already uh showcased or in the download description below so you need the latest version of vita shell of course you need your usb charging cable so if you have a 1000 series vita like i am using for today you're going to be using the proprietary one or you could just use if you have a 2000 vita you probably have just a regular usb uh, android charging cable that you probably can find it in your house somewhere so as long as you have your vita charging cable you could do this process and you, you need any file you want to transfer over to your vita whether it be a vbk or image i'm just going to be using um some vbks and some images just for this process to showcase on how to do this and of course you need a PC for this process um, with all that fun stuff getting out the way as well I just want to give a special thanks to the flow for making Vita show and also you know making a lot of uh, multitude of hacks for the Vita so shout out to him and don't forget if you need any help on this video or just have any questions feel free to join my discord but with all that fun stuff getting out the way we'll go ahead and get started on today's video
Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on today's video. So as showcased here, what you need already is Vita Shell. So I'm assuming that your PlayStation Vita already has Vita Shell installed. So if you already have HON Core or the Trinity Exploit, those options already allow you to install Vita Shell. But if you're using Hankaku, you may have to manually do it via with FTP. Um, in terms of getting Vita Shell installed with Molecular Shell, I will have the latest version of Vita Shell in the GitHub, of course, in the link in the description below. But what we're going to do is go ahead and get Vita Shell started. So, what I do uh, recommend as of right now is to go ahead and plug your PlayStation Vita um, USB cable into your PC and also plug it into your Vita. And now, what we're going to do is just open up Vita Shell. So, right here, I'm just going to go open up Vita Shell as normal. And I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully transfer files via what's your USB. So all you would need to do is very simple is hit start on your system. And now as you've shown here, um, it says select button. When it says select button to FTP, basically the Vita is just saying, hey, I'm going to be transferring files via over the internet or basically over an internet connection and not the USB. So if you're trying to uh, do files and you're wondering why my USB is connected and it's not um, showing up on my Vita, um, basically what we need to do is fix that so all you would need to do is hit left and right on your d-pad make sure it's toggled to USB and now it's saying that um, your Vita is now ready to transfer files via on the USB between your PC and Vita as well for your USB device make sure um, if you have a SD to Vita and you want to transfer files to that location or basically your files onto your micro SD card make sure you have that if you're using a regular mem or excuse me memory card make sure it's toggled the USB device to memory card so that's very important too so sometimes people ask me hey I transfer files over via with my um, you know Vita to PC via with the USB cable but I don't see any of my contents on my um, memory card or or my FD to Vita it's probably because you didn't change the uh, USB device so it's very important that you have your thing on whatever method you have in terms of memory so if you're using a memory card go ahead and select that or if you're using FD to Vita go ahead and select that but now all we what we need to do now is hit select on our Vita you will see a message that says USB connected follow all of those steps on Vita Shell. What should happen now once you hit that select button you should hear a little notification on your PC that is a device connected or hear that type of sound of that notification. If you did everything right you should see something that says USB drive. This is your PlayStation Vita now successfully connected and now you can transfer files without um, doing the FTP method and it's much much faster since it's not going over internet connection and it's using your USB cable. So as showcased here you could tell that if you on your um playstation vita if you could go and see your tie folder anything that has user you could also see things like repatch if you have that installed um things like app and this is where all your games are located if you don't see any of these uh, items right here, we need to go ahead and fix that so you could see all of your contents in UX0 because a lot of these files are hidden on your PC. So we need to go ahead and make sure that we have those files selected so you could view them onto your desktop. So what we need to do now is go ahead, go into home, I believe, or go into view. And then from view, what we're going to go into is options, change folders and search options. Then go into view and make sure you have um, the setting right here. Show hidden files, folders, and drives as well. What you need to do is if you have this ticked on, hidden protected operating system files recommended. So for example, I'll show you guys what it should look like if you don't have this already installed. So probably this is what your Vita does look like without it. You don't see all of your contents or app or data. What you need to do is once you go into options, change folder, view again. And then make sure you have show hidden files and folders and drives as well have this toggled off. You may have to say yes and then hit apply and OK. What you're going to do is see all of your content files and now you're able to transfer games. So I'll explain a little bit more about that as well. So if you have any no NPDRM games, it will go into the app section right here. If you have anything in terms of like wanting to know where your pictures and screenshots are at, if you ever took any, there will be in this folder. Um, you can see some of your screenshots in here. Yep, here's one of the screenshots I took for a thumbnail. And as you see, it was just for Vita Show. 
I'm trying to think of other things I could teach you as in a video. Um, your licenses. So if you have official license files, um, here are the license or dot refs for your game. So here are all your stuff in terms of um whatever applications you have on your PlayStation Vita. That's where that goes. Any of your tie config folders and plugins will be here. So as showcased here, here's my no NPDRM, which allows me to use uh, no NPDR game or M games. I have also trophy hacks, um, stuff like storage manager to run SD to Vita and all of that fun stuff. So your tie folders for your plugins. Um, I'm just trying to think you can make a folder on your thing just by having VBKs all into one area. So instead of always installing them from your PC and transferring them, you could do that. But speaking of VBKs, we could wanna go ahead and just transfer over any VBK of choice. And I'm gonna be showing you guessing on how to transfer any file to your Vita this way. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take um, my thumbnail. I'll just take any regular thumbnail. So I use the thumbnail for this video and I'll transfer it to my PC from my Vita. So there it go right here. And now you can see that it's on my Vita. I'll even showcase it right now on the screen that one of my files successfully transferred over and I'll showcase that this file is now open into Vita Shell. So I'll meet you guys back on the Vita. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I'm in Vita Shell right now. What we're gonna do is test to see if our file has successfully transferred over, and that's the whole purpose so I could teach you guys on how to do this via with the USB cable. So I'm gonna go into UX0, and if you guys remember, I already transferred over one file, which was the thumbnail for my YouTube. Well, it should be right here, and as showcased, you see screenshot 2PNG. If I just click on it, Voila, you can see that I have basically the video thumbnail that I'm using for today transferred successfully over with Vita Shell. So in today's video, I successfully teach you guys on how to basically set this up with a modded PlayStation Vita. If you did learn something new and if you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you guys also need any help, be sure to go ahead and follow me on my Twitter and you can DM any questions there. But with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, I love the llamas. Nice and silky smooth.